like what is a thing you would you would do after a long day on set? You know what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Station 19 coming to an end. Yeah. Go ahead. You want to ask? No, no, no. It's coming to an end. They never tell me nothing. I know. Could you imagine being on the island without her? Yeah, you could. <laughs> All right, welcome back to another episode of After We Wrap yeah. with your hosts, Jaina Lee Ortiz and Gabriela Ortiz. And today, you know, I mean, <laughs> it's always great to have like people who are no. your friends, people who you know come onto the show. But um, we've seen we've seen him on The Bling Ring, Vida. Station 19 and so much more. But this show, obviously, is about, you know, who this person is, when the cameras stop rolling, when the curtains close. So let's dive right in, Mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, Carlos Carlos Miranda. Yeah, thank you. Hey, 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 hey. See this intro? Look, look. Do you feel at home? Do you feel welcome? I feel very loved and welcome right now. Thank you very much for having me. I love it. Um, It's so funny. When I first asked Carlos to to do the podcast he's like um so what are you gonna ask me <laughs> and i was like well an example would be uh like what is the thing you would you would do after a long day on set and i forgot what you said i said i looked at you and i said you know what i did <laughs> 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 a long day. uh but uh but yeah i feel like i feel like carlos is one of those people who like when he walks in a room you could tell his presence is felt like he comes in and you could just feel the energy that you give um i mean we feel it on set it's so funny every time we rap he's like he gets the mic ladies and gentlemen that was a great show and everyone could still probably has a lot of work to do but his scenes are wrapped so he just does a big announcement of (laughs) elvis has left the building how excited he is to get the fuck out right 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 right. like i'm excited this was fun i'll see y'all tomorrow and he makes like this whole big announcement um, but that. no, what's something, what is something that not too many people know about you? That, uh. You have two dogs. No. <laughs> I, 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 you know what? Um, I read. I know people probably don't assume that I'm a reader, but I read. Okay, Do you have reader? a favorite book? Huh? Do you have a favorite book? A uh, favorite book? Um. Yeah, well, I, I do see you bringing the books on yeah, set. I, yeah, you know, I, I'm not like a sit and read all day, but I right. do have like, okay, I'll wake up and I was like, let me get a chapter in, you know, nice. on something. I gotta do more of that. Yeah, same. And, uh, and I've done it more lately. Um, it's something that I've been trying to pick up a little more, you know. Yeah. And uh, a favorite okay. book, though. Um, Outliers. Outliers, outliers. Oh. Like, I'm not yeah. <clears throat> okay. What are you currently, currently reading? reading? Yeah. What are you currently reading? Um, currently reading. I'm diving back into. It's a book that I didn't finish, but I'm diving back into this book about uh, the events of this, the 1906 San Francisco earthquake and fire. Uh, oh, right. Okay. It's like a. It's like a. It's not a story. It's more so a, like an kind of like uh play by play of the events of, uh, mm. of the, the, what okay. happened behind there so wait um, san fran a lot of people don't know mm-hmm. you're from the bay area i'm from the bay area. take us back take us back to like you know? to inception of carlos <laughs> you grew up um, in the bay i grew up in the bay i was uh bonnie this is my dog um <laughs> that's bonnie she wants attention um i was born in san francisco general hospital um Wait, the I, hospital you were born in is yeah, called San Fr- General Hospital? San Francisco General Hospital. Oh. Yeah. So I was born in, in San Francisco General Hospital to my mom and dad. And uh, I lived there. I li- I grew up in San Francisco till about I was till I was about eight. Mm. And then I moved to Miami. And I lived in Miami for about three years, which were some pretty formidable years. I remember a lot like... Um, just coming into like oh for like coming of gr- age. like you're yeah, like a girl liking me you know it Aww. all ha- it, it was I it ex- I experienced that over there first and I was like oh wow somebody likes me and like <laughs> you know and being the the new kid you yeah, know like yeah, yeah. I'm from a, I'm town. from California yeah. you know and it was just like what a weird like cool experience like um sounds like a movie yeah I guess no, right? it is it totally is it's been those movies where it's like the 
Shane, start writing, making notes. Make right. notes. But that's, you know. <laughs> so Miami was cool. And my my dad, he had previous children, obviously. So his family was over there. Sorry. He had pre sorry. Um, he had previous children who lived over there. <clears throat> so he moved he like retired and moved mm. out and moved out there and took me with him. And uh and when I was about going like 12 going on 13 um for whatever reason i got i was sent back to my mom in san francisco and i and i continued the rest of my upbringing out there mm. um which it was just very two different worlds because my yeah. dad was <clears throat> my dad was retired so he had a lot more time for it mm. like you know he would take me to school and was like more active in my like life right mm -hmm. and uh my mom was still working and she worked the evenings so it was a lot of I, growing up quicker yeah you know mm -hmm. once i was in, back in san francisco i was going 13 um so yeah you know um i don't know if i know this do you have any siblings i do i got two i got two i have two brothers and five sisters yeah oh, they're right. and they're right, half right. they're half siblings okay um and uh, yeah, they're from my, they're my dad's. Children Do you go to from, Miami from much? Or not no? not too often. No, um, I'm like I I'm in touch with you know yeah. my my siblings, but uh, I didn't particularly grow up with them. I grew up really an only child. What do you but, like but, more, Miami or California vibe? I mean, you know, <laughs> Miami's just it's popping for like you know if I'm gonna go party. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, no, you know, I'm a I'm a I'm a bay boy. I'm a you know. What was the what was the moment? How, do you remember how old you were? Do you remember where you were in your life when you when you knew you realized that you wanted to be an actor? Yeah. Oh yeah, I was in in Miami. That oh Miami. I was in Miami. I was eleven years old. Oh wow. I was uh, young. Mm -hmm. I've told this story of, of to to people. I don't feel like maybe I have. To, maybe not. But I you know just but <laughs> since you ask, um, yeah, I was eleven. It was Romeo and Juliet, the Baz Luhrmann, Romeo and Juliet. Mm, and yes. uh, I was, I was, I'm a huge like Leonardo DiCaprio fan from like growing pains. Lovely. You know, was he was my, you know, you so, know he was my growing, crush growing up. Oh yeah. Was, I had course. a t-shirt He was everybody's him. crush. I had books. <sighs> oh, right. <yeah. laughs> I had a shirt with his face on it. Leonardo Leo, DiCaprio. Young Leo. Mm -hmm. So I was a huge fan of him from growing pains because I thought he's, his character was cool, right? Yeah, and I was like, oh, right. the cool, the homeless kid. He had, he had the open flannels, mm -hmm, you know, the kind mm -hmm. of the cool hair. Yeah. Just based on that, I was like, I like this character. And uh, since you know he started doing little movies, and I would be like, oh, that's dude, that's Luke, Luke from Growing Pains, mm -hmm. right? And uh, this boy's life, and um, I freaking uh, Quick and the Dead. And uh, Romeo and Juliet was coming out, and I was like, "Oh, that's, I fucking I like this dude or whatever." Mm -hmm. And um, and you know, back in the day, you couldn't just hop on YouTube and mm -hmm. watch a trailer, right? It was yep. like, if it was on, you know, if it was on, it was on, on TV, it's it. like, "Oh, I want to see this," you know what I mean? Or, but they had movie phone. Movie phone existed, which was seven 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 film, <laughs> and you call, and it's a, basically an audio of like, "Hello what? and welcome to movie phone," and you hear the. To hear showtimes of movies playing, press one. To hear upcoming films, press two. And oh, and you that you know makes me feel so ancient. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. aging myself right now. <laughs> but 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 it, I you know it's just I I love this memory of like because I'm like damn man I remember this dude and and particularly you could hear the trailer so you'll listen to the trailer of whatever the movie you want to play. Mm -hmm. So it's like Romeo Romeo in a world and da da da, da and Leonardo DiCaprio and uh, and in it. It's in the trailer, in the movie, obviously, but you hear the audio of Juliet, Juliet, and man, I I'm I doing it. it right now, and I get yeah. like I got butterflies, and I was like, damn, dude, oh, I can't wait to see this movie, <laughs> you know, that. and I love and, that. Uh, I love and, this. and 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 I just I don't know, you know, I just it was this feeling that it gave me, and then uh, I remember going to see it. And I didn't know it was, you know, in Shakespeare. And so right, for the, right, for the yeah. whole movie, my buddy and I was like, I was like, damn, why are they talking like that? It's probably going to change later. <laughs> you know, like we didn't oh, understand. But we, oh, as it's going on, it's like, you know, you get the story. Yeah. It's like, oh, man. Oh, it's, he's, he's a lot. Oh, my God. And, and uh, anyways, I just left kind of like, damn, dude. 
I want to do that. Oh, I love I want to do that, you know, and it's like when it's doing that it meant to, was like I want to make it, I want to make people feel like how that made me that. feel. You know? Right. I was right. Like, that's right. what I want to do, dude. So is Leo your Leo was like idol? my like damn dude, that's my guy. Leo. Um, Leo, Leonardo. Man, I mean, he's you know, you can't miss with him. Um Would that would, would he be one of the like top 5 actors you would just die to work with? One day. Yeah, man, that'd be good. That'd be Bonnie. I mean, I, yes, I would. Yeah, she agrees. Yeah, yeah. She's like, she's like, yeah, yeah. You know, one guy yeah, that you be playing. Here. That's it. No, That's yeah. It, yeah. I mean, yeah. I have so many actors. I, I but I mean, that would be kind of. You know what's crazy about this? Uh, what we do is that it really could be. Oh, you got an audition and you just never. You never. Yeah. Yeah. Is this fucking shit up right now? No, no, no. I don't think oh, okay, so. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um. You really just, you know what I mean? And it's like, oh my God, I got yeah. a scene and it's with this person. And, you know, that's, I know. So, that's it's kind of so, crazy. It's, and it's, it's surreal. It Have is. either of you worked with someone that you admire throughout the trajectory of your career and just had a moment of like, oh my God. Yeah, Jaina Lee Ortiz. Oh, that was, I didn't see that coming. Oh, that's sweet. Um, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I would have to say Carlos Miranda as well. I, I would have to say that. Uh, you know what? I watching the SAG Awards last night. I guess hit it, hit home for us because mm. it. You see everyone's journey, yeah, and you see all the shows and all the people who you dream of, of collaborating with, and you go, "That's that's that's." I, I I want that or or that's the work that I I'm craving yeah and it's it's so inspiring that obviously meeting you through Station 19 it's opened up another vessel of curiosity and just like the that 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 crave that appetite yeah. of all these different you know uh, stories to tell because I mean it is a uh... Touching on the SAG Awards. It is, um, whatchamacallit? Uh, whatchamacallit, I love that. <laughs> I haven't said that in a while. I haven't said that in a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that just popped that out. But, um, all the time. Um, <laughs> I wonder if Gen Z is like, what? Whatchamacallit. Is that word? Word? Right. Whatchamacallit? Who is By the way, you have a lot. Did I, has be. anyone told you you have Riz? Yeah. No, not told me that I have it, but I know about Riz. You know about Riz? I, yeah, yeah. Riz. I'm up on game. I know what you know. <laughs> um but no what i was saying touching on the sag is uh you know sometimes how people be like oh you know the words don't matter and this this and that and it's like i, I hear you but mm -hmm. don't get you gotta admit that it's like you watch that and you get kind of like damn dude that's tight like people work all their yeah you know at some somewhere down the line you dream about yes like, you want to oh, feel man, validated like, you, know? you want to feel like and, yeah uh, and it's just and it's dope when uh, especially when you see new people Mm -hmm. winning you mm -hmm. know what I mean it's like oh man like that's mm -hmm. that's tight that's gonna be you up there one yeah, of these days too. <laughs> we, we always Mark. we always we always talk yeah, like yeah, that man. on set one day that's beautiful one day. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I know I know you're doing <laughs> such a good job you're doing such a good job yeah come on Bonnie okay <laughs> how um whew, well we have we have some stuff I mean we can talk about a little bit about Station 19, too. Um, throughout your career, mm -hmm. excuse me, Louis. It's, it's a trip to be like your career. I know. Like we got a career. I know. It's, it's, I've it's been tripping off of that. Yeah. It's tight, but yeah, it. it's just like. It is, it is like, this is what we do for a this living. Is, like, this, this is what this, this is so, it's weird. It's weird, but it, like, to call this work yeah. because it's yeah it, it, there's so much play involved mm -hmm. you know you get to you get to feel like you're playing i've seen an interview sorry to cut off what mm -hmm. you no, was no, about no, to ask me, but i've seen another interview of some like famous actors right um who were it was they were like an award thing you know so they're interviewing each other and somebody said something about like you know putting in the work and all everything that you do mm -hmm. all this is like the acting part it ends up being just a moment, you know what I mean? And it's like yeah. a lot of rejection and this and that and ups and downs. And it's like, you got to love it so much that you're just like, right. just to get that, just to do right. the, that, the, the moment that you have, you know what I mean? Because yeah. a lot of it is like tough, you know? Yeah, I almost see it as if, if you could, if you could 
do this f- for free? Like if you could do it without even thinking about the the money? I mean the money helps, but you 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 truly could could appreciate <sighs> the what what it is, you know, the what we've studied, you know, this craft and how how deep and emotional and 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 draining it could be you go oh uh, if i mean th- this is going on a whole nother <laughs> subject but like I, when i did theater that's how i felt i yeah. said this this helped me realize that the, the the work is the work the work is the reward the, the reward the yeah. paycheck the validation the yeah, thing yeah, that yeah. like that drives us and everything else is just an added bonus you yeah know? totally mm-hmm. um but Getting back to um, throughout your career, uh, you portrayed a diverse array of characters from first responders on Station 19 to dramatic roles in films like Senior Moment. Okay, how do you prepare for such varied roles and which do you find more challenging or rewarding? Um, Well, I got to say that. Right now, you know, it. You, I think different things you approach differently. I would uh, assume. I, I, I feel like, mm-hmm. but um, and I'm still learning too. As a, mm-hmm. I'm still fairly new in the game. New in my, you know, or, or in this level of mm-hmm. that I've that I'm at right now. So I'm still figuring things out. I'm still learning. Of course. Um, and I feel like that never stops too. No, it never like, stops. But you know, you pick up like, okay, this worked when I did this. Mm-hmm, so let me mm-hmm. try to use this here. You know. Right. Um, and I try, you know, I try to, I always try to kind of see how I could bring myself into whoever I'm playing. Do, would you, know? you, would you say that you, you're, you, Carlos, your personality, mm-hmm. um, is very similar to Theo on the um, show? Um, or you could, uh, I think sometimes maybe. Yeah, like sometimes it you you come out, Carlos comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes maybe, but again, like I said, like how can I? Um, and also, you know, the thing is, our characters are always evolving, mm-hmm. so we can't really mold. I, I feel, oh, I don't know, maybe you can, but it's just I. It, it'd be a ch- quite a challenge to, you know, like let me mold this character, and I gotta be this kid. But you, you only work one day, and then right. you got a week mm-hmm. off, and then it's like, and then you don't know, and what we, don't know and we don't know is. what the next, you know, right. where's it gonna go? So, so in a sense, yeah, I try to like, how can I play him as natural as possible to where it could just be flow, you know? Versus, mm-hmm. I haven't been had the fortune, uh, the I haven't had the fortune yet to get like that movie role where it's like okay i get to i'm um, let me immerse myself and build yeah, this yeah, character yeah. Right. And, right, you know right, because right, right. but you know you have a close you have like this is we're doing this for a month mm-hmm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. and that's the story mm-hmm. and i'm gonna be able to let it go after yeah. and like right i haven't had that experience yet to do that which i can't wait till the, mm-hmm. the day that i can mm-hmm. um but uh so and that so and what i have have been able to do is always just try to keep it I try to just play the truth, you know. I try to just play the truth that's on the page, and and uh, and try to make it as natural as possible. I guess you know, just feel like it's not performed, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, you know? forced or pushed. Um, very random question. Uh, oh yeah, this is what we've. This is what. <laughs> Uh, what uh, we you've had a unique journey in the industry from working as an Uber driver to becoming a series regular yeah. on a Shyamalan production. Yeah. What key? Pe- yeah. <laughs> what key? What key piece of advice would you give to actors who are currently facing similar struggles? Just don't ever quit. Yeah. Literally, literally, don't ever quit. Like just uh, when the. When things are looking at its worst, just it's it can't get you know it's only gonna. Honey, y'all fucking this shit. Oh, that's Louie. Hey, hey, excuse me. <laughs> um, sorry about that, y'all. Um, back to to what? Just don't quit. Just literally don't quit. I feel uh, that's what ultimately ends up is people just kind of lose faith, give up, or mm-hmm. real life happens. It's like mm-hmm. I gotta, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's just, just, you gotta just, keep, if you want it, on, then you gotta keep, just keep going. 
Right. You know, and it's like get rich or die trying, you know? Yeah. It's like just this is what you're gonna do, then this is what you're gonna do. And then I, I and I always feel like if you could if you could you ain't got you don't gotta be rich, you know what I mean? Of who doesn't wanna be rich, obviously, <laughs> right? Like who doesn't wanna make but the happiest moments I have are was just like finding out I got the part, you know, or like getting the audition. It's just like, mm -hmm. oh, this person, they're interested. It's like, oh my God. It's like that yeah. rush of yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah. my God. And, uh, and, or it's even when you did that. a play, wasn't that like, you know, oh, isn't yeah. it just like, I all know. right, dude. And mm. it's just, so if you could just make a living and just get by, you know, and mm -hmm. still do what you love, then that's, you know, it's just how bad do you want to do what you want to do? You know what I mean? It's right, like, right. If you're, if your if your plan is like, ah, I just want to be famous, then it's right, like, right, then, yeah. you know, you know what I mean? Like, that's not a, you're chasing the wrong thing, basically, mm -hmm. right? Right, right. 100%. So don't quit. Don't quit. Yeah, don't if quit, you Ubering, yeah. keep Ubering and go to class. I yeah. feel like go to class. This is my always, sorry to get back. No, no. 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 Always go, I feel like, because I used to be super, as a kid, I was like, I'm, a, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I have natural talent. I'm going <laughs> to make it. Like, Leonardo DiCaprio never went to college. You know what I mean? Like, and, uh, and, and as I've gotten older and I've studied it myself mm -hmm. and read mm -hmm. about the Lee Strasbergs and the Stella and the, you know, the actors that I look up to and it's just how, who they went studied and, and it's just like, damn, you know, my, I switched on something like, damn, I wish I went, I wish I went to, I wish I studied. I wish I went to like Juilliard or tried. I didn't right, even think right. of this cause that's just, I was in the streets, you know? So, and, and when I, once I was, once I figured it out, I was like, well, I'm already trying to do it now. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, so, um, so I'm just so for, you know, I, I've taken classes now, like I study with somebody and everything like that. But, but what I'm saying is if you can, if you're not, you know, always don't ever turn a cheek on like, yeah. oh, I'm just going to, if you could study, take a class. Cause you, then you meet actors and you yeah. have this community mm -hmm. of actors that like will help you with auditions later, or maybe you guys create something and there you go. You know stuff like that. You know what I mean, and uh, and you're networking. only gonna get better because you get to just perform. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. You're just mm -hmm. gonna keep and you're like, networking along the way. And yeah, yeah. So so get into a class if you can. You know what I mean. Um, obviously they're not cheap, but you know, if you, <laughs> if you could find, I know. I know. if you could find some, you ain't even got to meet some actors and just get together and replay and stuff like do. that. You know, with Al Coronel, he would have this um, a friend of mine who's an actor. Uh, he would do a weekly acting class at his house every Wednesday at 6 p.m. And we would put whatever scenes we wanted yeah. on camera and we would watch them afterwards nice. and talk about it. And we would all give each other, you know, some. There you go. And it, yeah, even if it was for an audition we were preparing for, like we would do that and sort of just to let get those nerves yeah. out. Mm -hmm. And that became like our little. And that's Space. the thing, though, is a lot of people don't want to do sh or lay don't do shit like that either. Right, yeah. You right. know what I mean? And it's like, damn, you, you gotta, you gotta, like, you thing. can't just, you gotta do something. Yeah, you can't just wait you, for it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, you gotta, like, you gotta, you know, work that gets work, right? Like, you gotta, you gotta put that energy out there. Mm -hmm. If you're doing this, it's like, I just, yeah. I believe in that. That was I yeah. In that. that was yeah. Uh, if you, this is so random, but if you were stuck on an island, what are three things you couldn't live without? <laughs> I think I know oh. one of them. Oh I think I can answer one of them. <laughs> Bonnie. <laughs> um, oh, oh, my yeah. dog. No. Uh, Bonnie. Water. Oh, but I'd have water all around me because I'm on an island. But can I drink that? But it's salty. Yeah. 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 You would need one of those. See, this is a this is terrible. Right. This is terrible. Know, this, is like, this is good. I get it. Well, I'm getting too logical here. <laughs> the same way. Um, <laughs> right. A boat. <laughs> paddles um three things i couldn't live without damn man that's hard i know well yeah. bonnie's a good one to start with yeah could you imagine being on the island without her yeah i could <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> yeah oh my god find like, another yeah, animal would be lonely that's what i'm saying I'm like damn bonnie's on here um damn dude i mean i feel like it would be i mean i'm like my kids you know i I just that okay. That's 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 one. That's three. I got two. I know, but oh, okay. But <laughs> you I'm said saying three that, things. Yeah, three things. Okay. He didn't say. It, the, or he is didn't it three say people? But I, but I'm, that's three people. So do we mean oh. things like things? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay. Like weed. Oof. I, could grow I mean, it I there. thought that was <laughs> that's what we said. Number one was. I yeah, thought you were yeah. gonna pick weed as number one. Uh, you know what? Okay. Um, <laughs> now the wheels are turning. I know the wheels are turning. What could I? Oh, what I need. Um, <laughs> I feel like this like, really. <laughs> you know a a TV, a DVD player, and how DVDs. <laughs> That is crazy. I don't remember. I don't remember the last time I saw a DVD. I know. I know. I got some. I got a box full of. I got a. Bo- really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You know. Uh, I think. Yeah. Like, what if you buy something on Amazon? But then Amazon goes out of business or something, which is probably never going to happen. Yeah. But, but wait, you said you have how many kids? I got two kids. Two. Wow. Yeah. Did I know Teens. that? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Teens. I know. He yeah, looks like a boys. kid himself. Kid at heart. I know, look at his baby face. face. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> probably, I mean, you probably get that all the time. Oh, my gosh. Th- those are your sons. Those are your kids. That you, th- you look like brothers. I, I've got all enough. the time. That's pretty. Yeah, it's very flattering. Thank you. Um, what is your biggest fear? Man, that's a good question too. Um, I mean, there's so many fears. Really? Yeah, I mean, you know, like I mean, pretty typical ones like oh, somebody getting sick and stuff like that. Yeah. But I guess like, you know, to try to, to try to give a good answer, <laughs> I think uh, was one of my biggest fears. I guess is just looking back in my life and not and feeling like, damn, dude, I should have did, I didn't do, you know. Yeah, I didn't do this. Or I didn't do that. Mm. Yeah, like That's deep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, regretting the yeah the like, one thing or the things that you you didn't get to accomplish or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know the time wasted. The disi- yeah, yeah like your the, the self you know, self My fear is time. My my yeah. biggest mm-hmm. fear is is like time. Wasting you know how time, we don't have yeah. enough That's of a, it and just and it's like you can't do nothing. It's like saying. Not to get all morbid, but it's like, mm-hmm. I'm scared of death. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, yeah. every uh, this is kind of everybody. Th- it's mm-hmm. like, don't nobody want to die, right? Um, <laughs> ideally, right? You know, but you don't live life thinking about that every day, right? So you kind of just, you you know? If you, yes. So time is one of those, like, we know we don't have enough time, but we don't go thinking, like, I'm going to die or I'm going to this. Right, right, right. Time, you know what I mean? So it's just, we're just so against it. And it's like. So at the end, when I know, when time's up, I don't want to be, you know, you just want to think like, damn, dude, that was tight. Like, I, I, got, yeah. I, had a, I had fucking did, I had a cool life, you know, like, I don't know what's, you know, there's like the afterlife and all that, but we don't really know. So. Right, right. The one thing I think of is getting, getting eaten alive by a shark. Ooh, that's, yep. that's the you one. You know that's what he my, made me do the other day? Swim next week. I week. hate, my biggest fear is airplane. Um, oh man see yeah we got we, we can talk yeah. about those fears all and day my husband <laughs> yeah thought it would be healthy for me <laughs> to watch a movie about a plane crash did you watch society of the snow oh not yet not yet oh, not yet that's a good one that's another one but we're gonna we're getting on a plane next weekend so i can't <laughs> uh, not right now but what was the name of the movie it was something it was it got stuck underwater, so it was by the same producers, 47 Meters, the one that with Mandy Moore, where she gets stuck. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> and and the bubble creates on the airplane, so they're able to survive, uh-huh. but sharks are going around because mm-hmm. they smell mm-hmm. all the, the blood, and they all and they all just like eat, tear you apart. <laughs> oh my goodness. Rip you to shreds. Yes. Uh, so both our fears happen in one movie. Gosh, that um, is that I mean, scary. damn, dude. So, would you rather drown or go on fire? Drown. Uh, drown. Oh, it, you're yikes. in water. I don't want to. I don't want to feel the burn. Yeah, the burn. Right, but they both suck. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. They're, they're just a. Anyway, oh, this yeah. is, this I know this way. Is, way <laughs> not to get too get to dark here, but really but, quick, hey, uh, yeah. to, we're, we're so. almost about to wrap it up. Uh, before we get into our this or that. Um, with station 19 coming to an end yeah go ahead you want to ask it's coming to an end what (laughs) they never tell me nothing i know we just found out um (laughs) (laughs) uh we want to use you know use this space or this opportunity to 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 have some of our cast members come on and just share favorite memories what would you miss the most oh man the show i think uh 
I think the just the goof offs in between takes that we have, the the little bonds that we meet, that we've established, and yeah, the jokes and the green in the green room. Right, oh. I know. Remember that time when you scooted like a dog? Yeah. When what? I what? When you scooted like the oh, sco- <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. I have a video of Carlos scooting. Like a dog. You know when dogs sit on their butts and then they kind of like scoot themselves? He actually did. They, it. They, the yeah, we were, they were like, you know, we just gonna, and I was like, like this, when they do this. <laughs> yeah. Like, do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very <laughs> silly. We do the silliest things. So I, I'll miss that. I'll miss that, like going to work and like, oh, you know, I'm going to work with these. Oh, they're going to be here today. Like, yeah. Those are, you know, I mean, yeah, those are my favorite times. Isn't it crazy? It's not, yeah. It's the, it's the, the moments the memories that you make with people and it's the, it's less the inside about, jokes in, right. in between in scenes that we sometimes will have yeah and it's just like yeah you know just when lines go when people fumble a line and you know it's like oh, I, don't know. I don't know it's just yeah. the, all those little moments like that are are like are good. i'm gonna miss those yeah um what are you looking forward to in this new chapter of your career i'm looking forward to uh, just seeing what doors this may potentially open for me seeing uh, I'd like to try to do something completely kind of different Um, I really want to do films you know? what would like, you be your dream, dream yeah. role like what what would be what would be the role you see yourself doing yeah. I mean yeah this like is, genre I mean yeah Oh man. I know. It's so that's so hard. You like so, I can, I feel like you, you know, should like, you there I, needs to be a I I got I, I, I was about to say there needs to be either a, a new version of Romeo and Juliet mm. or yeah. have Leo. I, could you imagine yeah. if they did? You know, I did Romeo and Juliet in high school. Oh, you I did? And so I we yeah, so freshman year uh you know, I, I I did drama and all that and then my buddy was like Hey, next year we should go to this other school, right? You know, and you know, in in like the city, the district, or whatever. Mm-hmm. There's a few. What school do you go to based on where area of the city you yeah. live? Mm-hmm. So there were like four in particular that we all were kind of the, the local schools. And my friend was like, every year we should go to a different one, right? <laughs> and I'm like, you know, so and I and it, at the time it was like. Oh yeah, I'm down to do that, right? Because sometimes right. we'll cut school and go to the other school, <laughs> and like, so we knew people, you know, and be like, I'm gonna come here next year, and this and that. Oh my god! But sophomore year came around, and I and I and I bailed on the plan because I was like, man, it's just they're gonna do Romeo and Juliet at at, at oh. Jeff, and I really want, you know, so. And uh, and I did it, and I auditioned, and I got to be Romeo, and we did it. We modernized it like the movie. <laughs> So we did. So we didn't do like the tights. We did. You know, I had like a Hawaiian uh-huh, shirt, uh-huh. and you know, and so <laughs> yeah, we is yeah. So um, flops. Is there a video of this? Because I don't have video. Ah, I mean, but I, I but I, I'm sure, I'm sure there's video because they taped it. You know, like yeah, yeah, in the school yeah. and um taped it. Taped um, it. You guys right. taped it. Well, right. I know. Do you guys I know. Do I know. You know what this is? <laughs> yeah. I don't, right. It's I don't so know funny. why that was. No, like. no. I no. I I, I but, remember. Yeah. Like was, a camcorder. Yeah, yeah, meant, the right? big yeah, one, yeah. the big one. That's how. Um, but yeah, but I did. We, you know, and it was that was my little like, oh, cool, I got my little Leo oh. moment. Oh, and, I didn't uh, know you were such a Romeo and Juliet yeah, fan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, without thinking, without hesitation, quick, 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 off the top of your head, this or that. All right, I'm gonna start. Off. Drama or comedy? Drama. Film or TV series? Film. Method acting or Meisner technique? Oh man, they're both kind of a method in itself. So I'm neutral. All right, beach vacation or mountain retreat? Beach. Yeah. Yeah. First responder or villain role? Oh, villain now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Audition in person or self tape? Uh, oh man, that's <laughs> that's a hard one now. I I would say in person. Yeah. Because, yeah, in person. Yeah. Um, on set rehearsal or learning on the fly? Oh, shit. Um, I kind of like learning on the fly. I like, uh, I like, I like, because I feel like it depends how, what the, I, I'm supposed the, to, yeah. Think, but it yeah, just yeah. depends on how the grand, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the whole thing is. Like, is there a lot of, 
this person got to, you know, yeah. we got to figure out blocking. blocking. And, mm -hmm. But if you're prepared in your character and you know the lines and this mm -hmm. is and that, right. I love just kind of like, oh, let's, if we know this is, right. you know, gotcha. right. like kind of discovering that. Uh, uh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Cooking at home or dining out? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dining out. Yeah. <laughs> character driven stories or plot driven thrillers? But I'm going to take that back. I'm a Postmates in, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, character driven. So, so that's what I meant about like sorry. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I meant about yeah, dying yeah. out, but it's just like we go the dying out's gonna come yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. <laughs> uh uh character driven stories or plot driven thrillers? Oh man, um that's a, that's that's a, a tough, tough one. one, but uh character driven stories. Early morning shoot or late night filming? As much as I hate early getting up early for work. Or, yeah, I'm an early yeah. morning shooter. Yeah. Bad. Okay, last one: historical period piece or futuristic sci-fi? Why do I always have to like? Uh, uh, <laughs> probably, man, that's a tough one too. But I guess historical. Okay, all right. I love. And we always, couldn't leave without a little 49ers this or that. Oh so my god! So Joe Montana Damn. or Steve Young? <laughs> Joe Montana. What is this? Candlestick Park or Levi's? Candlestick. Hey, okay. 18, uh, excuse me, 1980s 49ers dynasty or current squad? Oh, man. Ooh, you know, got him with this it's, one. It's crazy because, I mean, I, you know, the 80s, the 80s dynasty is impeccable. And it's just, I, I just wish I was so young that I'm like, damn, man, that I, I you know, I'm, I'm very grateful of the squad that we have right now. But I'm very disappointed that we, <laughs> that, we, that, we, that we've lost three in a row. It kills me. Uh, um, so I don't know. You know, I mean, yeah, I, you know, the 80s dynasty is just, it's the dynasty. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, thank you. Wow. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Carlos, where can we find you? Oh, no, you're find? not on right. freaking social yeah, media. And oh, you're done? Media. You yeah. got off? Good he's for taking you. a little break. He's look. He's, he's incognito, mysterious. <laughs> if you want more, you have to search for it. You gotta you real know, my, deep you gotta and watch hard. My work. You've gotta. You gotta. Yeah, that. exactly. Yeah. You're that. You're that actor who work. like. Did, wait, wait. So she'll handle what? Yeah. yeah. This, this is their work. Yeah. Yeah. What was the reason? Um, I mean? it was uh sometime like last summer. I was just during the strike. You know. Yeah. It was. I think. Uh, it was several reasons, but it was just, but really, like, ultimately, I just feel like, man, this is, it's such a soul sucker, man. I, right. you know, I would literally get, you'll spend such, so, so much, much time, time on it. Consumed. It's like, really just like, and I'll sit there and laugh for an hour, like, you know, like, this but is then hilarious. you accomplish nothing. Yeah. Sending nothing. You yeah. know, sending them out, and I was like, all right, I gotta go, I gotta go to the gym, man. I'm bullshitting right now, mm -hmm. or. Mm -hmm. Or or I should have been doing reading that my that chapter in my book. Right. You know, How has I, your like, life been since it's you've... been I've I wrote a film, you know what I mean? Like I wrote a screenplay. Wow. I, I I Yeah, like I don't picked up my reading, you know what I mean? Like things like yeah. that, you know? You're it's just like and, all right, yep. let me Let me do yeah, some you know? put some work in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it is, you know, in the sense of you wanna be in touch with or be in tune with like accessible to your fans or so to mm -hmm. or for yeah yeah and i just and i just also am very like uh the, the <laughs> he's like i'm here for you yeah she's, i'm here for you she's like I'm i got your back i got your back i got your back i'm also just i feel very like uh you know what man i just kind of i don't want we're in an in a it's a time of just like social media followers who influencers mm. and and I don't want to be based on like, I got to post something or pay everyone's. I want to just be kind of like we were saying, you know, Your like work speaks if you, for my itself. work speaks for me. Yeah, and, you don't uh, have to. and if we and if I do something like this, yeah. you know, then you then people get to know me, I yeah. guess, you know. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah. I don't want to be, you know, because so I, like, cause I, like, I yeah. like smoke and stuff like that, you know, and, I, and I'm just and I don't and I'm one of those, you know, I'm like. I'm not going to change, you know, like I don't want to change who I am right, because, right, 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 because right. I got to be mm. branding myself or something. You know what I mean? I'm like, my yeah. brand is going to be what I, what I deliver, yeah, you know what I mean? Ultimately. Yeah. So, so I just kind of wanted to take that kind of, uh, weight or yeah. like pressure off of me. Like, let me, no, for let sure. me not, you know, even though it's like people ask like, 
what's your handle? Or sometimes y'all post pictures and, and it's like, like yeah, oh, I wish I was tagged on that. You know, like, <laughs> you know, little silly things like that. But overall, it's really like, it's, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's distracting. It's I feel like yeah. it's very freeing to just kind of like, okay, I'm just, let me go work. Let me go, let me go get on my grind right now. Well, you're definitely doing it. For sure. And yeah. I can't wait to see what you do after right this. On. It's yeah. going to be you. amazing. I know it will. Everyone, this was Carlos Miranda. Woo-hoo! And after yeah. we wrap, we'll see you next Thank episode. You so it was so good to chat and here. just get to know a little bit more Thank about you. you. Thank yeah. you so much um, for having me. I follow him yeah. and his career because he's about to blow the up. That's All right. right. Bye. Bye. Yay. Yeah.